In this video, it's my pleasure to be conducting an interview with Frank Berger, developer of the backgammon software BG Blitz. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you like to see in future videos so I can work on that. My book, Backgammon Backgame Strategies, is now available. There's a link in the description to where you can purchase it. And if you're interested in lessons, please contact me via email. My email address is in the description. So today, uh, it's a really a treat to be able to speak with Frank Berger of BG Blitz. Thank you for joining me and welcome, Frank. Hi, Alex. Uh, ni nice to meet you. And it's an honor for me to be on your video. Great. We're, we're happy to have you. We're, you're joining us from Germany. Is that correct? Yeah, that's that's correct. Um, okay, so I think a lot of people are interested in this software, and um, I don't know uh, if I mentioned to you, but I'll mention it to the audience. One of the reasons uh, I was specifically interested in, in the BG Blitz is because uh, I, I mentioned I, I recently wrote this book on back games, and the software that most people use right now is XG or Extreme Gammon. And when analyzing the back games, uh, it's not trained to play them very well. So you have to do very strong rollouts, which is fine, but it becomes very time consuming. Each rollout took multiple hours. Um, so I actually spoke with a number of experts, um, in particular, Neil Kazaros, who's one of the top players uh, in the world. And he was telling me because he's he was involved in developing these kinds of things too. Um, you need to do uh, stronger rollouts for back games, and we discussed um, having a newer software because the uh, developer of Extreme Gammon is not um, going forward so much uh, with making it stronger um, at the moment. And he said, you know, maybe we should do a different uh, software. I have a few people that are working on something stronger but then um i ran into you and i know uh you've been working on your software for some time um, and there is that potential so um that's kind of the background um but i'm happy to have you i'm uh, interested in learning more about the bg blitz um uh, if i may i'd like to start with a little background, biographical information about you. So please tell us uh, where you were born and raised and education, where you live, things like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, from Germany, from uh, Cologne. And uh, I, uh, by, by education, I'm economist by, uh, but I earned my whole life, uh, uh, the, my money was, uh, uh, software development so uh, I, I made my hobby to my profession and uh, backgammon is my other hobby and so uh, it was uh, uh, a pretty obvious idea to to make a backgammon program on on uh, uh, my own uh, i always had some some private projects and uh, i thought uh, doing a chess program um and I thought, oh, that will take two or three years until you have an engine that is reasonable. I think that's too long, try backgammon. And this was a very funny misjudgment uh, by myself because I started back in 1995, which is uh, a lot of more than two or three years. Yeah. Uh, I'm married, I have two daughters, uh, which uh, who are no longer uh, at home, but uh, live on their own. Um, I retired end of the last year from my day job, so I have now uh, much more time uh, for for developing BG Blitz. Not as much as I thought I would have, but uh, 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 plenty of time. Well, that's so great. I, yeah, I have I have two children, but they're they're young, so. I've, I'm looking forward to the day when they're out of the house and I have some more time. <laughs> yeah. So I, I was, we were very lucky because uh, the uh, older one left was 19 and the uh, younger one was 18. So uh, 
Um, not that we are terrible parents, but uh, uh, my my uh, older daughter uh, studied in the UK uh, the whole time, and my younger made a, a volunteer social year in the UK, and there was a young boy, and yes, that was the rest of the story. And uh, so, so, uh, so she's living with her boyfriend uh, in the UK, and my my uh, uh, older daughter is now in in Germany again, uh, but not in in this area. Yeah. Very good. So uh, that's great. Uh, so, and I know you 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 retired from uh, your job. You were doing software development when you retired last year. Okay. Very good. Um, so what about backgammon? How did you originally get into backgammon? Yeah, this this was a, a funny story. I uh, In my youth, I played chess and uh, sometimes more, sometimes less. And then in a uh, uh, time when I was very hot on chess, uh, I went uh, to holidays to Romania because all in the eastern states are playing chess. I was very convinced uh, of that. Uh, to my disappointment in Romania, they played that funny game with the 24 triangles and mm -hmm. moving strangely around. And uh, when I was back home, I uh, 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 tried to get a book and uh, I got the uh, Jacoby Crawford uh, book. And uh, then I was hooked. And uh, this was... I guess 1990 or so, uh, and uh, since then, oh, it must be earlier, 82 or something like this. And uh, since that time, I was very interested in in backgammon. Um, and uh, yes, in 1995, I, I started to to program my my program. First, I had the idea to to have uh, to 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 build a platform like in chess where you can plug in several engines but uh, there were not many engines out there and i think in 2000 or so on 1999 i decided to do my an, an engine on my own and uh, yes this this was uh, uh, my my way to to backgammon yeah that's that's very interesting um back then there wasn't really any software to my understanding kind of the first one or one of the first ones was called td gammon which never kind of fully went into effect and then there was uh jellyfish which became popular and then um, gnu backgammon and snowy snowy was the first one i used a lot of people still use uh, gnu and then extreme Ga gammon came out uh maybe 10 or 15 years ago and that was uh the strongest one and I wasn't aware of the BG Blitz until relatively recently. So uh, I don't know why. Maybe maybe people don't know about it, but I think it's good for people to know about it. Um, my, my marketing is uh, terrible, but uh, <laughs> I, I yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, um, it's it's like in 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 many places in the internet. There's uh, always one uh, company or one program dominating the rest of the world. If you uh, buy goods, it's Amazon. And uh, uh, because I do it as as my my uh, spare time project, uh, it's 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 fun for me development and uh, to make uh, a software successful or. Uh, economical more successful you have to write documentation you have to to advertise and that's all time that uh, goes away from development that is the thing what makes makes fun and uh, one one has to say that extreme gammon is simply an excellent software there's uh, nothing uh, uh, what one can say against it it's it's uh, great and uh, for uh, uh, this point um i i, I never uh, cared much about uh, popularity um my my long term goal was to to write a really uh, good ai and uh, 
I, I'm think I uh, uh, at least uh, I'm 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 of superhuman strength uh, by far, and I guess uh, I'm I'm very close to to uh, uh, GNU BG, and uh, I hope to to uh, uh, get better, and uh, I I think it XG is uh, is uh, not necessarily the, the best software. I, I don't know whether I can uh, uh, write a better AI, but uh, I think it is possible and that, that motivates me um, yeah. to write a good AI. I think that's good. I think anytime you have a good product, uh, if people know about it, then um, they'll invest. And hopefully um, with this video, people can learn about it and uh, get to know more about it. Um, and so I know with, with any software, like we've seen with Extreme Gammon, there, there needs to be continual development because when it started 10 or 15 years ago, we didn't know all the things that we know now. We've done lots of rollouts, people have written books, all, all sorts of things. And now people want to learn more. They wanna do slightly different things. And there needs to be somebody on the back end who's able to do that. Unfortunately, that's not the case uh, for whatever reason um, with Extreme Gammon. But I did, uh, and I shared this with you too, um, I'll share it with the audience. I did a kind of an informal survey on Facebook to see what people would like to see. So there were many things we listed, but uh, kind of a brief summary of the top bullet points are basically stronger playing strength. I mean, extreme gammon is very good, but just kind of those those certain position types um, that could be trained like back games, uh, the better dice distribution, uh, visualization, which is something I've worked on myself. Uh, people wanted something that's a little easier to transcribe uh, when they're transcribing matches. Uh, one of the things that was very interesting, I thought um, people like to see uh, their errors or blunders in a database sorted into a file and, you know, being able to categorize that with a group of similar positions so people can study. Um, other things were uh, a nice user interface with a lot of beautiful boards. And I think you have that, we'll go through that. Um, and another one was a way to take analyzed and save files and turn them into a PDF file, which doesn't sound like it would be too hard to do, but you're the, you're the developer. Um, and I know you, you addressed some of those things with me. So uh, what what can you tell the audience about some of those things or other things? Yes, so, um, there are. Um, I, I I read the the uh, uh, poll, and there were uh, some things I uh, uh, will address. The uh, thing with the dice distribution graphics uh, will be in the. Oh, I, I have to say, I publish a version in the next few days. I just have to to uh, uh, make up the website. Something I I hate it. <laughs> um yes I, I i don't like it and uh, the 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 better uh, version is around for a, a, a couple of months took much longer than usual there was a show stopping error which was it took me about two or three months and it was not in my code it was very frustrating but i'll publish this uh, uh, in in october uh, and uh, in the uh, 3.2 which will come whenever it's ready, uh, but I uh, will publish. Uh, um, if if a feature is ready, I will publish a better version for it to to to, to get feedback. And uh, one of the first things, probably the first thing, will be the dice distribution graphics, where you can see two moves. Where are they better? Uh, what uh, the, the map with uh, 36 rolls, uh, both moves, and what are the difference between the moves? Because uh, not only uh, you asked for it, but another user for a couple of months, and I say, uh, I thought that is a 
a very reasonable feature. It's not too much work because I have a heat map already. So uh, uh, two heat maps and a difference that's that should be not not uh, too much work. And I guess I'll publish this uh, uh, very soon. I don't know whether this year, but January seems to be a, a, a plausible date. Um, another thing where I believe that uh, Bigger Blitz has an edge is uh, that it is very uh, st stable in unusual positions. Uh, what uh, does that mean? Um, if you have very strange positions, uh, new backgammon sometimes makes uh, uh, random moves. And uh, in in some moves, even uh, XG plays not as well, um, especially very deep back games and uh, extreme containment games like the Cowder uh, Paradox. And uh, Tim Chow for a couple of months uh, posted a position when we are talking about this and uh, asked what's the evaluation? Does Big Blitz get it right? No, it doesn't uh, got it right, but it uh, uh, was far uh, closer to the truth than XG. So in some deep uh, back games and some containment positions, uh, Bigger Blitz seems to be better than XG. I have, in fact, only a couple of positions, six or so. Um, so it is not statistically uh, valid. And, uh, and, and real research might reveal that it was random, might be the case. But this is my impression. And we, we unfortunately uh, know nothing about how XG is trained, but uh, I do uh, training by self-learning, and I think this uh, uh, leads to the robustness in the evaluation. And uh, I, for for several reasons, I haven't uh, uh, trained in UAI in the last years, and it's overdue. It's really overdue, and uh, that is another thing. And I'll start. I, I guess next month, maybe this month, but might might be might be a little bit too too early, and uh, I I changed the art architecture of my uh, neural network in two uh, thousand with, with the last version, and the increase of ability in this uh, positions was measurable, and. Uh, but the training process was uh, the first sketch for, for, for this architecture. And I will concentrate a lot of uh, uh, deep back games and containment situations. And my hope is uh, to have a, a, a AI that uh, is able to roll a snake uh, back home. And uh, at, currently, uh, it already understands the value of an outfield prime, but uh, it doesn't understand that it's possible to slot in the front. It slots at the at the end, but not at the front. If if it's for whatever reason to check us there, he makes a point that for sure. But uh, he he uh, doesn't know that there's no risk involved at all to slot at the front. I hope that it uh, will learn that, but. Uh, it's always uh, the, the training process of an AI is is uh, more like black art, black man, yeah, black art than uh, uh, engineering. Um, I have done quite a few things that uh, seem to be reasonable and didn't work at all. Um, and uh, I'm a bit op uh, optimistic right now because uh, I don't change m much, but uh, only a little bit of tweaking. And I have uh, um, a quite fast PC. Uh, 
So the training of an AI doesn't take uh, two months anymore, but I, I could paralyze this. I guess I will have two, two to three weeks. So uh, I do not only one um, or two in, in, a, in a year. I do it always in the winter because uh, if I have a hot PC in my living room in the summer, my, my that, that's not fun. And uh, so I can tr uh, uh, train three or four uh, approaches and see what's what's going on so i'm i'm quite optimistic that uh, i uh, uh, reach an improvement whether it uh, will solve the coda paradox i don't know but uh, that that that's my goal for the ai then uh, one of the uh, first ideas of of big blitz uh, was to have a, a a position database with uh, with quizzes or uh, errors and in fact this was one of the first features long before i had an ai um, but in the uh, 25 years between uh, uh, i haven't done anything about it and uh, that's overdue uh, too i uh, I want to integrate it with the analyzers so you can uh, add your blunders in the database. I plan uh, that it works like a, a Karteikastenlan, um, so uh, um, small cards where you write it. And if you, yeah. uh, um, I, I, don't, I don't know the Engl English word for uh, um, uh, Karteikarte. Um, like a flashcard, maybe? Yes, flashcard. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, so uh, uh, you can tr train some common positions, uh, but uh, you can train your your errors too. Um, naturally, the the exact position where you made this blunder won't come up ever again. But uh, if you uh, my my personal error number one is that uh, in 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 holding positions, I never know when to run and when to stay. Um, that's probably my single most uh, uh, single largest error. And uh, if I have one hundred positions where I, I get it wrong, sometimes I will probably learn it. And I guess that that would be useful for other persons too, especially if it's integrated. So it's it's not only uh, a file which is useful uh, too, but uh, uh, integrated in 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 a, a flash flashcard like a learning tool and uh, what i already have is a, a database for matches uh, you can look all matches of mochi whatever with uh, uh, match length seven or something like this um this is useful to to uh, contain or you to collect your own matches or matches of a, a player you like um but i w want to improve this that that's not not really um there are some technical things i have to decide before i do that but i can imagine uh, that it's uh, 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 useful to search for all two three backend positions maybe from one player and uh, if we have the ubc uh, uh, championship in in december uh, would it be useful for mochi to see sanders matches in back games or something like this or how does it play such situations i can imagine this but i i don't know whether it's uh, possible performance wise because in a database with with uh, fifty thousand games uh, to search in in real time, is is not that easy. Uh, that's something I plan, but not for the three dot two. Also, new AI dice distribution. There are one or two smaller things, and maybe a brush up of the uh, uh, position database. This is. Uh, uh, our top priorities right now 
user statistics and some some dice statistics uh, uh, is is necessary too. These are candidates for the next release, and I hope that uh, I I was not very quick uh, publishing releases. Um, two years, sometimes four years. Right now, I I plan to have at least uh, uh, every year uh, a release. Sometimes technical stuff uh, happen. Otherwise, it would be published in 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 May or June already. But th these are, are my plans for the uh, uh, near future. That that sounds great. I think. You have a lot of great ideas. Um, you have a lot on your plate, and you're kind of a one-man show. But now that you ha you're retired and have more time, um, you can do that. Um, I know there's a lot of other things um, that are not your expertise, like the marketing and other things like that. I do have a group of people that were working on uh, a creating a new software but uh, maybe i can introduce them to you and uh, everyone was basically volunteering to do it so they would probably be happy to volunteer their time to help and i think um, that would be great because you already have this platform um, and also people that can um, help you with the training process who have had experience with training as well um, so good i i think that's been a lot of good information um, about BG Blitz and the the ideas that you have to um, improve it moving forward. Uh, people are very excited, and I think uh, what people are most excited about is seeing um, how it works. So maybe we could do a demonstration, and you can show us. Yes, I share my screen. And we'll go through, yeah, I can see your screen while you, while you load this. We'll go through this. And for the viewers, if you have questions or ideas or suggestions um, while, when you're watching this video, please put them in the comments. And um, I'm sure Frank will be able to see them and hopefully address them. Um, so now I can see the screen. So please go ahead. Yes, um... I, I think uh, uh, BG Blitz has some uh, very beautiful boards uh, made by very talented uh, artists. I have, I, I, I guess, around 100 uh, uh, themes or so. Uh, and I see you're running it on a Mac, right? Yes. A lot um, of people I, have asked that. They want it to run on the Mac because... Uh, Extreme Gammon does not run on uh, Macs unless you use some sort of special software. Yeah, it runs on, on a Mac, it runs on Linux, it runs on Windows. Uh, I, you can see here there are, I guess, some 100 or 120 different themes, and some are really marvelous. Uh, this is one thing uh, one I try to do is... Uh, um make it easy i i um, um if a user uh, tries to use a uh, uh, blitz he should not uh, uh face large difficulties and uh, so uh, many things can be uh, done with drag and drop and cop uh, copy and paste um it should be easy. Um, starting a play is a is a, a click on on the board. That's probably not the the most uh, revolutionary idea. Um, can you try uh, doing like a sample game so people can see? We could just do a yes. few moves. Uh, oops, uh, I have to move the window. Just uh, I have a human against human. Okay, so double and... three. And I make. I would make a, the five point. Yes, I think about making a, a stupid uh, move. Uh, because one thing uh, which is nice is uh, uh, can you see it? This, this red LED I can here. See the red dot. Yeah. And the, that's a 
real-time tutor, um, ah. you, you see the quality of your move uh, immediately. Uh, you have not to, to, to end the move. And you see he, here it's green. Oh, okay. Probably you can 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 do something uh, which yeah. makes it yellow. No, it's it's wrong too. And um, um, so this is like a tutor mode feature. Pardon? This is a tutor mode fe feature. Yeah, yeah. I I have uh, when I end the move. The, the uh, uh, normal tutor comes up said this move was so either uh, this move was bad do you want to try again or you can uh, uh, use the option that it's uh, the the best moves come come up already um but this uh, has i think two advantages um you have only the information it's okay or uh, it's bad or it's uh, uh, good right. and you not only get bad feedback, but you get uh, feedback on your good moves too. I think from the uh, psychological point of view, that's better. And uh, he and uh, can that be turned off if you want to just yes, sure, sure, yeah. sure. On, but I think that's that's a, a really nice feature. Yeah. Um. You okay? So see the uh. Running. Oh, that's a good roll. Uh, uh, I make a questionable move or yeah. take it. No, it seems to be okay. Yes. And uh, yeah, you, you see the, the, the PR of the running game was when you go with the mouse over the uh, uh, tutor uh, LED. Uh -huh. This is there, there are a lot of uh, small, basically hidden features because the the documentation is uh, more or less non-existent. But if I get in my email, I answer uh, it usually in less than twenty four hours. Uh, that's uh, my uh, um, if if I don't provide the documentation, I have to respond to emails. That's that's yeah. uh, the case, and that's I usually so, so we saw a okay. few moves. Um, can you show us how we can see the analysis, like we see when we're on XG on the right side or left side? You can uh, ask for the for the best moves. Okay, uh, as you expect, you can uh, how many moves you want to see, which uh, uh, how many plies, okay. some some options. You uh, use uh, rarely uh, rollouts or uh, copy the the uh, position as ASCII or HTML to the clipboard. Uh, apply a move. Uh, want to see the uh, dice or not? And the the color of the dice uh, corresponds with the quality. If we uh, take it back, uh, let's make. Who's who's on? Uh, so, from uh, probably a questionable move. Oh no, it's correct. Uh, but here you see the 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 uh, color of the uh, arrows corresponds to the quality of the move. The background here corresponds to the quality uh, of the move. Um, the darker the red, the worse the move is. Uh, here okay. it's. Uh, Medium red, that's red. There are lighter red and then okay. dark red. And, and then, uh, um, is it possible to see all the moves on a column on the left or the right, like we see in XG? You have yes. that. Right? Um, not not in in in, in playing mode, uh, but for analysis. Analyzing. Okay, so what's the game? Takes the match database. Let's take uh, okay, uh, so, yeah. Akiko. And oops. What is this for a window? We don't know it. Okay. Might be um it's 
full screen mode is it it's not not oh, okay but you could see it side by side that's fine and so you, you can go through all of them and see for now um you can with a with a uh, uh, cursor control uh, cursor down uh, goes to the next error oh, okay this is the wrong direction it's always a bit difficult with high class players uh, to go to the next error there might be none <laughs> Should so I that's take? okay. You don't have to go through the errors, but it's nice to see the user interface and, and how it is. So that yeah. was a, also a money game, and you can play matches, of course. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Here we, we see a match. Um, that's a summary of the move errors, equity loss, uh, performance rating. Um, it, it It's probably very, very uh, uh, used to, to the, the data which was seen. I I believe I'm a little more strict on what counts as unforced move than it's G, but I'm I'm not hundred percent sure. Here you see uh, 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 lucky moves, uh, and the luck is always from the view of the uh, moving player, not from the button player. That's a, a difference to XG. Here you see how bad a move is. Um, yeah. yeah, light red, dark red. Here you see the moves. Um, this looks probably familiar ah, too. Yes. But I I thought the the most important information is do I win or do I lose? And with XG, it's it's just the small uh, uh, black bar. Yes. And I, that's that's not so uh, easy uh, to see than this. Uh, the darker. Also, uh, uh, green is uh, a win, uh, darker green is gammon win, very dark green is backgammon win, and uh, uh, to lose is, uh, is is red. That's uh, the made move. Uh, I, I can uh, run a, a deeper anal analysis. It takes some time. That that's a point where XG is really hard to beat. It's uh, written in assembly, and if you uh, use a, a high level language, even if you use C uh, against a competent assembly programmer, uh, that's uh, you 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 won't beat him. But I have some ideas on performance. Uh, I I I won't reach XG, but. Uh, I, I I guess I, I can uh, get better. Here You're you getting can... there. So the thing uh, I was going to ask is, you know, we've been talking about the development, but if people want this software, it's available now, right? Yes. So uh, the, the better version is already uh, uh, on on my website. As uh, the, the plain version is is uh, uh, it can be downloaded. The uh, better version is already there. Also, it's not linked on the top page. You have to know that's uh, better.html uh, at the uh, 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 end of the URL. But I will publish it this month. That's that's for sure. And that's on your website? Yes. Okay, I'll uh, put a link. I'll put a link in the description so people that are interested can go directly there. They can download it. They, they can purchase the software. Is that how it works? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I've, the, the, um, I, I have three versions, the free version, player version, professional version. Okay. Free version, there's, uh, you can look on all features. The, the uh, features of the uh, uh, paid version are a little bit uh, limited, but there's no time uh, uh, limit. So it's not a 30 day uh, evaluation, but it uh, lasts as long as you like. And uh, some some things here conversions from a file, uh, it's it's free. Uh, put a position database and match database uh, is is uh, free too. Uh, the the uh, match database is is really ugly from the user interface. It's uh, right from the nineties. Uh, it's really really uh, 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 ugly. I, I I show it later. So, but it's free. Match database free. Uh, plays are interrupted uh, roughly 
about every sixth game and, and rollouts are limited to 36 games. You, you can see everything, but it's 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 kind of limited. Uh, this the, is the free the, version. That's the free version. The player version, you, you can play, uh, that's yeah. for sure. Uh, you can uh, 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 look at the evaluation. You can look at the best moves. Uh, but rollouts, the tutor, and the analyzers are limited. With a professional version, you get everything what, what you see. And uh, one thing, um, you need one license for all your computers. If you have three computers and one is running Windows and Linux, you need one license. Yeah. Not, not more. And, and I think if you're, if you're interested in improving the user interface, you just find a teenager to help you and they'll be able to fix it in five minutes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so so this is great. Yeah, what what else? Um uh, what else did you want to talk about? Yeah, and uh, I'm I'm very uh, uh uh free with with updates. Um one major release and all minor releases are free. That means someone that buy it back in 2002, a professional version will have with the coming release the first paid upgrade in 22 years so i'm i i, I don't think uh, one could say that i'm greedy for the money and, right. uh, i understand i think one of the one of the biggest concerns that people had was um lack of updates with xg um because it was developed and I don't know the whole story about the developer, but um, I understand he's no longer interested in continuing the development, um, looking to possibly sell the software. Uh, but there haven't been there haven't been updates, and people are looking for that. And it seems like this is very promising because you're available for that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it's, it's, uh, it's fun. Uh, I I I like to do software development and. Uh... I, I guess I'm better in software development than in playing backgammon. At least I hope. <laughs> <laughs> not so good. Um, it's okay, but it's not 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 uh, 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 really really uh, uh, on 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 master level. And uh, yeah, I, I I like it, and I uh, like to do, uh, if, if uh, people requesting uh, features. Uh, they usually get it uh, uh, quite quick. Uh, no, oh no. Sometimes it takes years, but sometimes it's uh, uh, a couple of uh, uh, days. Someone uh, asked, uh, "I have, um, I, I start a game, so uh, yeah, nonsense move, yeah." And uh, no, one second. No, that's that's complete nonsense. So yes, here is the uh, the evaluation for cube actions, and uh, here is uh, what are the cube decisions for oh. every different scores. That's great. Yeah. And uh, one one player uh, very few top players uh, are uh, uh, aware of of BG Blitz. One of them uh, asked for this feature, and uh, he got it. <laughs> and uh, and another player said, "That's uh, if I if I scroll here." I, I don't know where I am and uh, uh -huh. uh, keep it yeah freeze pains yeah. right yes and uh, um in in the better version which comes out very soon after publishing also better of 3.2 uh here's a, a, a clip to uh, HTML 
or clip to uh, CSV. So you can analyze it in Excel or uh, look at the whole table in, in your browser as you like. And uh, between uh, asking for it and uh, he was very lucky. It was on the top of the pile and uh, <laughs> Was, I, I saw this is fun and uh, not much work. It took me about two or three hours, and he 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 got it uh, uh, very quick. And this is, uh, yeah, this is great. These are some really nice features, and I think if you do something that you enjoy, you're motivated to do it, and and you'll be on top of it, which which you are. And if it's something that you cannot correct or address uh, immediately, at least you'll address it and um, look into it, which is which is very good. I think people will like that a lot. So um, I'm, 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 I'm not very organized uh, implementing features, um, but chances are well if you uh, suggest something and I think it's doable and it's reasonable and other people uh, will, will need it, I... Uh, 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 try to to program it as as fast as i, I as i uh, can that's good I, I i like that you're very open to feedback and a lot of the people that that play and analyze and study are, are very interested in these so i'll put your um your the link to your website and do you want uh, me to put your email in there or is it on the website so they can contact you directly Yes, it's, it's frank at bgblitz.com. It's it's on my website, but uh, it doesn't hurt to uh, uh, put it in the... In so the we'll, we'll put it there. And I think if people have questions, they can put comments in the video. I think this is going to have a lot of attention and people are going to be interested in this. Um, I think that was good. I think I, I feel like I learned a lot about the new software, the development, we saw a demonstration, uh, um, a lot of the features. Um, anything else you wanted to um, talk about or show us while we're still together? I, I think I, I just... Uh, uh, um, yeah, one thing, uh, it, it runs out on, on the Mac, and um, especially uh, I have a native version for the Apple Silicon, so uh, um, on on the Apple Silicon, that's not much different speed difference to 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 uh, BG Blitz because uh, the uh, Intel CPU is emulated. Uh, this is something. Uh, yes, I, I I think that that's that's uh, uh, I. If if we stop, I will think. Oh, this patients uh, <laughs> I should have talked about, but uh, that, that's it. <laughs> well, that's okay because the nice thing about these is you could always put something in the comments below, and people will be able to see it. Um, so that's that's great. I, I really uh, enjoyed this and appreciate your time, and of course, not just the time in speaking with me, but for your many years of developing it um to helping to grow the game uh i think many people are going to be able to benefit from that i'll go ahead and uh let's see unshare the screen um so before before we we conclude the video are there any other final comments you want to um make to our viewers Yes, if if someone has a question to to BG Blitz, don't hesitate. Send me an email uh, or uh, ask in the command section. Uh, I'll try to to respond to, uh, quite quickly. And uh, yes, I'm I'm happy for feedback and suggestions. So feel free. Great, we're we're very happy to hear that. So um, with that, we'll we'll go ahead and conclude. Thank you very much, Frank for your time. It's been a pleasure having you on and I'm happy to have you on again uh, in the future. If there are updates or anything else you'd like to talk about, I'd like to also take this opportunity to thank the viewers for watching. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified 
every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you like to see in future videos so I can work on that. If you have any comments for Frank or about BG Blitz, please put them in the comments and we'll generate a good discussion. Again, my book, Backgammon Backgame Strategies, is available. There's a link in the description. Oh, you got a copy. Thank you. Um, uh, you may not be able to see that. Why don't you why don't you show that and and say some words that that way it'll pop up. Yes, uh, I'm I'm about uh, the the chapter about uh, uh, single gap uh, back games and I, I like it so far. I I I read it uh, all backgammon books with with uh, two uh, points of interest. One to improve my game. And the other to get an idea to to improve uh, uh, BG Blitz and uh, for for that reason uh, this this book fit uh, really good to my to my plans and uh, yes I think it's a, a it's people ask me about it it's it's very technical and one of the things I personally do is. I put it on my bedside table because I can read it for a few minutes and it helps me fall asleep better. So that's that's a recommendation I give to people. But I'll put a link in the description uh, where you can buy it. Thank you very much um, for getting it yourself, Frank. I appreciate that. And if anyone is interested in lessons, I am offering lessons, please contact me via email. My email address will be in the description. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. And until then, keep rolling your dice.